Sissy, I'm Arthur Smith. I'm like the compere tonight. Compere's kind of French for Leslie Crowther. <laughs> and so uh, we've got some great acts coming on tonight. Later on, we've got Lenny Kravitz. We've got Dusty Springfield. So there's something to look forward to. Yeah, a few fans in there. But I thought we'd start off with something a little bit experimental. Improvisation is the new thing in comedy, or impro, as I call it. So uh, I'd like to do a little bit of impro with the help of you now. So could someone shout out for me a place? California. <laughs> California, Budapest, OK, we'll take, we'll take Budapest, OK, it's a bit more topical. OK, can I have uh, a mode of transport? Skoda. Skoda? No, that isn't... <laughs> that's not a mode of transport, is it? <laughs> Citroen C5, roller skates, yeah. Uh, OK. Skateboard. skateboard from the trendy boy down the front there, OK. <laughs> we'll take skateboard, OK. Uh, can I have a Welsh person who's dead? Neil Kinnock. Neil Kinnock, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Satire over there. <laughs> okay, so we've got Neil Kinnett, we've got Skateboard, we've got Budapest, uh, and now could I have uh, a showbiz has been? Neil Kinnett! <laughs> we've had Neil Kinnett, uh, Derek Jameson, did I hear? <laughs> Poor old Derek, eh? Do they mean me? Yes, I'm afraid they do, Derek. <laughs> okay, so we've got Derek Jameson, uh, we've got Neil Kinnett, we've got Budapest. Right, well, well done, everybody. <laughs> Brilliant bit of improvisation. <laughs> now, I'd like to bring on the first act here this evening now. He's been on a few times before. You might have seen him. He's worked... <laughs> oh, dear, what's happening here? I'm sorry. Yeah? Yeah. Yes, uh, I'm sorry, what's going on here? Okay. Yes, yes, thank you very much. Yes, yes, good point. Yeah, you didn't even win, mate. All right, thank you. Will you get off now, mate, please? Thank you very much. Uh, yes, yes, all right, well. Yes, all right, well. It's nice to see the chairman of the FA enjoying himself. <laughs> I am going to bring the first up, honey, indeed. Well, I got, a, I got a good luck card this week from someone. I got a good luck card. It says, good luck for the show, Arthur. And the incredible thing is, that's actually what it says on the card that they bought. Because it seems you can, you can get cards for virtually anything. Now, I was in the news agent, so I picked out a selection of the cards you can get. Here's one. Wishing you all the best for the autumn equinox. <laughs> Here's one. Good luck in your new sweater. Uh, there you go. <laughs> you can, you can get them for virtually anything. Here's another one. With deepest sympathy on the cancellation of your chiropodist's appointment. <laughs> it's amazing. Here's another one I found. Our prayers go out to you on your 8,000th visit to the lavatory. <laughs> and this one says, uh, congratulations on achieving your first erection in the back of a mini metro. <laughs> And that is uh, actually a pop-up card, but I uh, <laughs> don't think we want to look at that. It's a shame they didn't have one that said congratulations on booking one of the great British legends well, of I've music. I've been reading this uh, new paper, The European, and I see in this that uh, Robert Maxwell had a launch in every major city in Europe. Sorry, no, that says lunch, actually, obviously. <laughs> uh, there you go, touch of the Guardian there. Now, uh, a little personal thing, if anyone's interested here at the moment, if anyone would like to write in for one of these, these are, the, these are cards that I'll be giving out that you carry about with you in the event of being killed in a car crash. It's not a kidney donor card. What it is is a fag donor card. And this means if you're killed and you carry one of these, then someone else gets your fags. <laughs> because... I would like to help someone smoke after my death. I think that's uh, <laughs> Paramount City. I found that the tabloids have begun to take an interest in my private life. So I've decided to come clean, as it were, here tonight and tell you all the terrible things that I have, in fact, done. Well, firstly, I'd like to confess that two of Engelbert Humperdinck's children are, in fact, mine. <laughs> I am the Archbishop of Canterbury's sex slave. <laughs> 
I'm impotent, I can screw for five hours without stopping, I'm the fifth man in the Cambridge spying circle, and it was I who revoked the Edict of Nantes, thereby unleashing an unprecedented period of persecution against the Huguenots. <laughs> But, perhaps worst of all, and this is what I'm most ashamed of, it was I who was responsible for the series The River with David Essex. <laughs> <laughs> but, I'm very pleased. Alas, we've arrived at the end of the show here, as Shakespeare would say, good night, sweet ladies, good night, sweet ladies, good night, good night. Or as they have it in the new American Shakespeare edition, yo, baby, take a hike. <laughs> Ciao. <laughs>